cream. Get the money. Dollar yeah. dollar bills, y'all. Cash rules everything right. around me. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke Dog. What up? I have some trivia. For What's you got? Let's see. What 90s artist died just two weeks before the release of a double album that went on to go 10 times platinum? Was it Kurt Cobain? Was it Notorious B.I.G.? Or was it Jeff Buckley? Oh, man. Uh, I think it had to be Figgy. Life After Death. Final answer? Yeah. You were correct, my friend. Yeah. All right, how about this? What 90s band broke through with a music video that borrowed footage from the television show Happy Days? Is it... Ah. What? Weezer. You were correct, my friend. Yeah. All right, what long touring band was formed in Charlottesville, Virginia, in 1991. That's where the church shooting was, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> does, is it uh, multiple choice? Y yeah. What you got? And I'm curious on what you're talking about. But I'll tell you later. Third Eye Blind, Counting Crows, or Dave Matthews Band? I think I know this, actually. Mm. I thought Counting Crows was from the Northeast. Uh, I'm going to go with Dave Matthews Band. You're correct, my friend. I'm not sure why I knew that, but I knew that. Let's do some icebreakers. Would you I rather... Mean, I guess Virginia kind of is northeast. Yeah, almost. kind of. Trash yeah. talkers, feel free to play with this down in the comment section here. All right. Uh, okay, this is going to be an interesting question because we both know this, but uh, I, I'll ask it. Should I ask a question that everyone knows the answer to? No, why not? All right. Are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? <laughs> and what are some examples? Well, that was pretty easy. I'm the introvert. You're the extrovert. Well, actually, we did that thing, and I was actually in the you middle. You were an introverted what? extrovert. Is it, wasn't it called like a panavert or something? Uh, because that's not a little <laughs> weird. Thing. It was like something, whatever the. You're an avert. Yeah, I'm both. <laughs> like sometimes I want I want to be all, but sometimes I'm like, all right, leave me alone. Yeah. But so give me some examples as to why you were. And introvert. Oh man, it got worse the older I got. But uh, you know, I'm always a deep thinker. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of conversations and I won't even participate in the conversation when it's multiple people, you know. And I, I just sit back and listen, you know. And people think <laughs> that I'm ignoring them. People think that, you know, I'm. I don't I've know, dealt even with uppity this. in some situations. I've dealt with know? this for 20 years. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but really, I'm just thinking the whole time. And sometimes I'm analyzing the conversation. Sometimes I'm thinking about something completely different. But people, you know, just because I'm introverted. But if, if I'm in a crowd for too long, I have to get away eventually. Right. So, and that's me. So me, you know, I, it, on camera, you know, I, I enjoy doing this. You know, I love being energetic. That's the mm -hmm. extrovert. I like going out and trying new foods and going to park or uh, bars or, you know, going to concerts and stuff like that. But at some point, it's like I'm, I'm an only child. So it's like yeah. I need time to just there are periods where i go i just won't answer my call i don't care hear who you are yeah. unless you're my mama i just need to be left alone so i'm yeah. like right in the middle i don't know mm -hmm. all right let's see if i can get you to guess the title of this one what's the opposite of moon light sunlight or oh. sun darkness uh so you got sun but uh uh it's the blank is really today uh, you got sun it's one word sunlight uh sun so. Blank, like uh, man, that watch is just too bright. That thing is blinding, uh, blinking, uh, bright sun. Early morning. It's a beautiful sunrise. Oh man, <laughs> uh, what does a a nice chrome car do after you clean? Shine. It? Thank you. All right. <laughs> I was wondering, like, uh, yeah, but you said the opposite of moonlight. I figured you'd have said, well, sunshine. All right, sun okay. Darkness. So, uh, one of the most common words in the English language. The Another. Of. All right. Uh, uh, hey, that's not mine. That's your. All right. Uh, opposite of hate. Love. Sunlight of your love. Nope. No? Sunshine. No. Well, you can... Sun. 
Sunrise. <laughs> what was God it again? Dang, that car is real <laughs> shiny. Sunshine of your love. You got All it, right. my friend. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> guys, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and that's what he means when he says he's thinking of other things. Go ahead. And for God's sake, leave us a comment. <laughs> Tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And today, cream. Get the money. Dollar yeah. dollar bill, y'all. Cash rules everything around. around me. Okay. Um, yeah, sunshine of your love. Uh -huh. Now, we have done a... What was it called? White... Uh, white room. White room. In the white room. Bro, is it weird that for some reason when I think of that song and I think of Cream, for some reason typo negative comes to my mind. What is that hmm. about? C can you find any correlation there? Uh, it sounds like a song they would have covered, maybe. I don't know that they did. I don't, I don't recall it. I don't know Cause why. Because I've been into Typo Negative for quite some time. But, uh, no, not really. Maybe I did. mean, maybe maybe the vocal style, you could see uh, Peter that still might singing be. Okay. that. Yeah. But so now, Cream, the, uh, the Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. Yeah. yeah. This band was only together for a Two years, I believe. Two to three years, somewhere oh, in there. Damn, sure. Yeah. And then uh, Eric Clapton just went on it. Yeah, shot off to the moon. Gone, yeah. gone. What is, why is my brain blanking? What is Eric Clapton? He's the, he's the guitars, right? Yeah, the blues guitars. Yeah, the guitars. Yeah, yeah well, Cream was a psychedelic blues band. That's where I was going to go. Yeah. Him being a blues guitarist mm -hmm. coming from a psychedelic blues band. Yeah. It's like. Damn it! Now, trash talkers, I want to know like how big was it for two years? How big were they? Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Or was it just a stepping stone? It's something that retroactively became more popular because of the 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 fame of Eric Clapton. Oh, yeah. now we've 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 done White Room. Mm -hmm. What do you get with Sunshine of Your Love? <laughs> what sunlight sun sun bright sun, <laughs> sunshine sunshine of your love by cream it doesn't sound very bluesy though does it uh, no not really yeah it sounds like the opposite it sounds like you're happy like you're in love and you're like oh, everything's great smoke down what up let's get into it let's do it Yeah, it does. It's getting near dawn when lights close the tired eyes. I'll soon be with you, my love. Give you my dog surprise. Sunshine of your love 
sample from oh or yeah that riff it, it's we, absolutely either sampled or a riff that's played very, very close often. because yeah. i didn't know that song but, but that I, riff sounds so familiar I'm, just, I'm in the same boat yeah. with you trash talkers y'all let us know who sampled that and yeah i mean has it been sampled multiple times but okay definitely and for, first of all dude can we just say eric killed that guitar solo oh yeah absolutely he always it. does yes yeah, that's why people let with him as one of the greatest of all time. Like he's one of the guitar goats. Damn, was wasn't he in our greatest guitar? Yes, he was. He was. Yeah, absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, he got pretty far. I think yeah. Semifinals. Oh. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. We're gonna have to start. We're gonna have to bring that back. Bring mm-hmm. another tournament back. We're gonna have. We to. do, man. We need a new tournament we for do. sure. Now, okay, the song, mm-hmm. the genre, one hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. We need to talk about this song for a second. <laughs> all right, what are you getting out First of? First of all, I I think this they might be making some uh, sexual references. sexual references. Yeah. I mean, he said I wanted to give. you... Did yeah. I hear that correctly? I want to give you a dose of my adult juice. <laughs> <Is> that, <laughs> yeah. what he said? that was okay. And he said I want to stay with you until, until my, my seed, seed dries, dries up. Yeah. I mean, what do you think this song's about? Smoke? I think that's it. I think that's right. I mean, we could say it's right on the nose, but that was masking. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that was masking for that time period. Yeah. Like, you, you think about it, parents find their kid listening to this, and, you know, it's kind of thinly veiled. But, you know, if, you, if you're not up to the slang of that era, you don't realize, like, he's talking about having sex. sex. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you're like, oh, well, that sounds good. Sunshine. Yeah, the Sunshine. man's in love. He's yeah. in love. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. I'm pretty <laughs> sure we got this one on the nose. I mean, seriously, if this is is what this song's about, let us know down in the comment section. But I think me and Smokey are pretty yeah. on point with this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ultimately, God dang, and, that, and, that, and the name of the band is called Cream. And Cream. That's absolutely <laughs> it. Maybe they, that was the whole point from the beginning. Were they a kind of comedic band at all, you think? Not that I know of, no. Hmm. Okay. I've never known Eric Clapton to do any comedic songs. But, I mean, the name, yeah, you could say that that was yeah, kind I, of Listen, a, I ain't never innuendo. told you. I ain't never been in love with somebody so much and said, look, I'm going to be with you until my seed dries. <laughs> That's a long time. Now, I'm wondering if he's talking about... I'm going to finish, and then we're going to lay here for quite some time. Oh, or and then it drops. if he's talking about until I'm an old, <laughs> old man. man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, until there's just dude, nothing but dust coming and, out. Man. <laughs> <laughs> to the trash talkers who told us to check out Sunshine of Your Love by Cream, we greatly appreciate yeah. it. If there is a different meaning to this song, please leave it down in the <laughs> yeah. comment section. Let us know where they got their name, their name from, and also what do we check out next by Cream as well down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name is Barry Hollywood Six. Bye. <laughs> Larry, Smokey, Ramirez, come Here on. we are. Oh my. Man. Ow. Deuces. Chill, boy. Gotta watch out for that cream. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with us today. If you want to see the last video we did, just click right over here. Or if you want to see another artist that we covered, just click right over here. If you guys want to support the channel, please consider joining our Patreon right over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.